Eti, Ori, Sami. Hello there, here is a clip from my exhibition underneath the Georgian catacombs, the wine dungeons. I had a little exhibition underneath the old Tbilisi wine cellar museum. It is located underneath the Georgian military museum. Here I'm presenting one little clip where I tested some of my armors against the other blacksmith's creations. On one side we have Georgian Military Museum and yours truly's armor being tested against Alex Nord and Viking Hatchet's creations. Male stood no chance against axes or any other bludgeoning weapons. This is a friendly competition between Georgian blacksmiths, so don't take anything here seriously. We're merely debating the age old question which can beat which? Unstoppable force or immovable object? The event was organized by Shota the Mask Maker. All the Georgian creators mentioned here will be linked below, and if you're curious by their artistry, you can check them out. War Pig is also devastating, destroying anything in its path. The sewn ring armor managed to stop the axe blow with minimal damage. Also to remember, it's not just about the weapon. How much force you put into it, how you swing it, and also luck is very important in every instance. The second axe managed to go through the seams between the rings and cutting it through without effort. Plates in this plate mill are 1mm thick iron sheets. The axe blow managed to go exactly in between the gaps between the rings. A devastating blow. But other than the deformation, plate managed to stop the axe blow. What would have happened to the man underneath the armor is another question entirely. Both axes manage to keep their edges clean and are relatively unscathed. This is the unique property of bludgeoning weapons such as axes. Spears and swords could not have dealt this much damage and kept themselves intact as well. The armor took the second blow as well. You might say the plates being bent is proof that armor is in effect. But armor is doing its main purpose. It has taken the brunt of the force. It might have gotten out of shape, but it was easily fixed later with minimal decorational damage uh, at the end. So plates being bent out of shape isn't as important as those plates protecting your flesh from the chopping force of the axe. It would have definitely hurt, but you would most likely have survived. And now testing the ring mail, made out of washer rings and chain links. The axe managed to break some of the chain links holding the rings together, but fortunately the rings managed to stop the blow. The cut did not go through. The other blow didn't even damage the chain links itself. So if you ever thinking of making armor in the apocalypse, I would suggest this design. I think the winner in the weapons department was of course war pick. War picks were designed to go through armor of course. On the armor side, I think washer ring mail reigns supreme because of its made out of really thick metal rings. Thanks for watching and take care.